Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on the iPhone 10 or iPhone X. If you're watching this video because you have a cracked screen, uh, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, because I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step on how to do, uh, how, how to replace the screen. So first, you need to remove the two screws at the bottom here. Uh, the screw set is 0.8. If you do not have the tools for the repair, I'll link them in the description below. If you click on the link in the description below, it will direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can buy the replacement part like the screen, also the tools for this repair. All right, once you remove the two screws at the bottom, the next step you would like to do is to get a metal prying tool. And this prying tool is to cut the adhesive. Now the phone is water resistant it blocks the dust from coming in as well as the water from getting into the, the phone. So to replace the screen, you definitely need to cut the adhesive, meaning that the seal, the seal around the phone from preventing the dust and the water goes in. You need to cut that thing up, which I'm doing it right now. I'm cutting the seal using the metal prying tool so that I can open up the iPhone screen. Alright, so at this point here, I'm still having some difficulties. Okay, so once you have the seal removed or cut, you can flip the phone to your right and that's how you open it up. You see this little uh, stringy, looks like a cheese. Okay, so this is the seal that prevents the water from getting in. Okay, once you remove that, Go ahead and turn the phone around. Okay, so this phone has a water damage. How do I know that? Because these are the indicator on the phone. It shows you that the phone is turned red, meaning that there were water in the phone before previously. All right, so now the next step is I'll get a Y screwdriver or we call it a tri screwdriver. And this is to remove the uh, bracket. So go ahead and remove the screws. The screws are not the same, so make sure you do not mix match the screw. The one here in the middle is a lot longer compared to the rest. Go ahead and remove them. And last screw is somewhat hidden underneath that uh, cable. So it's right underneath here. Go ahead and remove that screw as well. Once you remove all the screws, you can actually remove the bracket. Okay, once you remove the bracket, what you need to do next is to disconnect the battery. So the battery is coming from the third at the bottom. So if you go from right to left, so one, first, second, and third, the third cable here is the battery. Go ahead and pop it up. And that's how you disconnect the battery. Now, once the battery is disconnected, go ahead and remove the second cable here. This is for your LCD. And then the one on the back here is for your screen. Once you remove that, now you want to count from the left to right, which is the, third, the second one here, not the third one. First, second, go ahead and remove that. Pop it up and gently pull the cable. Do not break the cable because there is a double-sided tape that tape onto the base on the, the, the phone here. So you see that little black tape? That gooey stuff? They try to be sneaky. Put a tape right there. If you by accident pull the thing, if you snap this cable, there goes your phone. All right, so do not break that cable. Keep that in mind. Just take your time and slowly open it up. Now this is your ear speaker and proximity sensor. And the phone here is your camera, the face ID, right? So if you replace your phone with the third party screen, will the face ID work? The answer is yes, your face ID would still work. And it comes from the phone here, not the proximity sensor. All right, let's move on. So let's go ahead and remove the screw. These are the tri-screws. Oops. 
that was slippery by accident. I wasn't paying attention to that. I apologize. And I did not strip the screw. Did I strip the screw? I hope not. Okay, there's one. That is the second screw. So this second screw has a little uh, metal piece right there. So I believe this is somewhat important. So do not throw that away. Just save it and transfer it over after. And this is the third screw. Go ahead and remove that. Okay, once you have removed the three screws, the proximity sensor is ready to be removed. Let me show you the uh, the new screen. So here comes the new screen. The new screen here does not come with the bracket. When I say the bracket means I'm referring to the bracket on this one, which is the bracket to align with the, uh, the camera here. So that bracket does not come on the new screen. So what you want to do is you want to transfer everything over from this proximity sensor, the bracket over to the new screen. So what I'll do is I'll tuck underneath, right? You see this metal prying tool, I'll tuck it all the way underneath to try to remove everything in one piece together. So it's, there's no screw or anything that holds onto it. It's just double-sided tape. And what you want to do is just wiggle. Take your time and separate the entire, uh, the entire proximity sensor with the bracket. Okay. So there you have it. It is separated. I'm just coming here to clean off some of the dirt. Load it off. And you're good to go. So move the old screen away. And here comes the new screen. Go ahead and align them. You already know where the screw is going to go. There are three screws, right? So go ahead and put the screws back in. Putting the screw is not easy. I mean, it's easy process, but because it's so tiny, and just take your time. You don't have to rush in this process because we are almost done. We are 50%, right? We remove everything. Now is to put everything back together. So we're halfway there. But before you go continue the process, uh, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're watching this because you have a bad uh, crack screen, And yep, that is what we need to do um, to watch the video and follow along. Hopefully you can change the screen by yourself. Now this is the metal piece right here. We need to save it and transfer it to this new screen. I believe the metal piece is more likely for the grounding purpose. I'm not 100% sure what is it for, but I would assume some sort of like the grounding purpose or anything like that. All right, so move on. So let's go ahead and connect them back. So they are kind of like Lego. When you have them in the right position, align them, and you press it in, it will just connect back together. You do not have to put a lot of force. It doesn't take a lot of uh, strength to push it in. It just make sure that you align them in the right position. And when you press it, you can feel like it kind of, kind of click, click back into the, the phone. Okay, so that was easy. Two clicks. And then here comes the battery. Go ahead and connect the battery back together. Uh, I don't have to click on it. So let me remove it and re-click it again. All right, that seems to be the case. Remember to put the bracket back in. There are five screws. 
go ahead and put the screws back in. So the one in the middle here is the longer screw. So if you have any question, just comment below. I'm more than happy to answer the question. I do read the comments and I'll get back to you in about a day or so, uh, sometimes longer, depending on like how much comments or question you, you guys ask, but I'll definitely answer um, all your questions here. Now, um, one thing is I'd like to know whether the video helps or not. So if you are able to follow along my video and get your phone screen repair or replace, uh, just comment below and say, Hey, I follow your video and it worked. I was able to replace my phone screen and you know, things like that. I like to see your feedback and whether you can change the screen by yourself or not. Now, um, remember there were adhesive tape, the seal around the phone. Uh, that way is to prevent from the water getting in. Yes, once we replace the phone screen, uh, the the seal is broken. Now you're exposed to water leak or maybe the dust going in. They do sell this thing here. This is the, uh, the water seal uh, adhesive tape. You can re-tape it yourself this way to re-tape it again and to make the seal back in. Um, in this video, I'm not going to do that and um, I won't be using the seal on the phone. Um, so I'll be just okay with that without without the seal. But for you, if you want the seal, uh, check out the link. I'll have it um, in the description below. You can go ahead and click on the link. It will direct you to uh, buy the seal, buy the phone uh, replacement screen and also uh, the tools for this repair. All right, so once you align, oh, sorry, you need to slide it on the top first, right? The, the new screen, you want to slide it from the top, get it in because they do have this little uh, metal angle. If you can see it, they do have this little metal piece, right? One, two, three. So you need to slide in from the top, then you can crunch and clip on the side afterwards. All right. So once you have the thing done, go ahead and put the two screws back in, charge up your phone and you're ready to go. So if you like the video, please again, subscribe and let me know, comment below. I really appreciate you for doing that. And let me put the two screws back in and say goodbye to you. So thanks for watching. Um, until next time, please take care and see ya. Bye.